Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I have another fun St. Patty's Day recipe for you. Don't mind the canner, I'm canning yet again. Sorry if it's loud. You can make this recipe the day after St. Patty's Day if you are celebrating with corned beef and cabbage. Now, corned beef and cabbage isn't really Irish, but here in America, we love to celebrate St. Patty's Day with corned beef and cabbage. There is nothing wrong with that. I love corned beef and I also love the Irish beer cheese soup. So, I am going to make the Irish beer cheese soup and I am going to add into it corned beef and cabbage. Because why settle for one when you can have both, right? Let's get started. I've got some butter melting in my pan. I am going to cook off my onions and cabbage first. And I think I'm just gonna use half an onion. To my onions, I'm gonna add probably a half uh, it's about, no, well, maybe not a half. Maybe about a third of a very small head of cabbage. I'm going to do this on a medium high heat. I want to salt and pepper this. I want to expel any or dry up any water that comes out of them. Okay, I don't know what you saw here because my camera died. I had to change the battery. I put about a third of a head, a very small head of cabbage in here with my half a large onion. I salted it and peppered it because I want to draw the water out. I don't want to put watery cabbage in my cheesy soup. So I'm going to cook this on a medium high and cook the water out before adding it to my soup. I'll let this cook for a few minutes before adding our corned beef. Oh, I'm also going to grate a carrot. Okay, here's my one grated carrot. Put that in. Again, if you already cooked corned beef and cabbage for St. Patty's Day, drain it really well. And you can use that. It'll be a great use here, leftovers. I'm gonna add my corned beef. My veg is kind of browning up here. I turn the heat down. I'm just going to break it up. Okay, I'm going to move this over to the other side. And we're going to cut the soup. This is a cheesy beer soup. You can use any kind of cheese you like. Here is a Kerrygold Dubliner cheese. I'm going to use some of this. I'm gonna use um, some sharp cheddar. I'm gonna use some cream cheese. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of bacon fat in there. Into my bacon grease, I'm gonna put six cloves of garlic. Instead of thickening this with a roux today, I'm actually gonna thicken it with cornstarch. I think it works a little bit better with cheese than with flour, than with a flour roux. Plus my husband doesn't like it with a roux. One stout beer. To that beer, I'm adding four cups of water. I'm using chicken bouillon. You can use chicken broth. I'm going to put in a good tablespoon. I might need more. Get my heat up. I'm going to use half a brick of cream cheese. A tablespoon of Dijon. I'm almost out. I'm going to put some fresh cracked black pepper in here. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika in here. We're going to bring this up to heat and then we're going to add in the cheeses. Okay, now that this has come to a boil, 
think I might have grated up a little too much. You need about a pound of cheese. Your cheese selections are completely up to you. I've got a mixture of Dubliner cheese and um, extra sharp cheddar. You can do the um, Irish white sharp cheddar and you know keep your soup white. Okay, I'm gonna put in the rest of that. This melted up nice and then I have a cup of chicken broth set aside. I am going to make a slurry with cornstarch. All right, here's my cornstarch slurry. I've got about one cup of chicken broth and a half a cup-ish of cornstarch. Okay, that has thickened up nicely and I didn't even need the whole thing. The stout has made this a dark, a darker color, and the, the cheese, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mm. I'm gonna put another teaspoon of chicken bouillon in here. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt. This is so good. Okay, I am adding in some evaporated milk for creaminess. If you want to add milk in for creaminess, add evaporated milk. If you use heavy cream in here, it's going to separate. Um, the evap milk actually has emulsifiers in it. So it will help this stay really creamy. All right, about half a can in. Give it a taste. Now keep in mind, stout is bitter. If you don't want it quite as dark and bitter, use the drought beer. I'm adding in all of my corned beef and cabbage. All right, corned beef and cabbage with cheesy ale soup. Oh yes, it can be done. Oh yum, look at that. Okay, let's give it a taste test. This is what's for dinner tonight. Yum. You can serve this with some pumpernickel croutons. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. I actually have some pumpernickel bread. I might have to make some. You can serve this with Irish soda bread, the Irish potato bread, anything you want. corned beef and cabbage in here. Oh, it is so good. Mm -hmm. You have to make some of this with your leftovers. Robert is going to wish he was home from work right now. Okay, well, it's lunchtime and I'm going to eat this again for dinner. So anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one. I will put the printable recipe card in the description box below for you. I wish you all a very warm, safe, and happy St. Patty's Day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.